Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and today I want to show you an update with my ground cherry plant. If I zoom a little back you see how small and compact this plant is, look you see right over here. And this plant is going to get nice and huge, it's going to basically grow maybe 3 to 4 feet wide and maybe about 2 feet tall. So I'm going to designate an entire area just for this one plant alone. Make sure we produce lots of ground cherries. And right over here, you begin to see the little flower that forms. And look how beautiful and delicate this flower looks. Nice purple with little white petals. And right behind that, once that wilts away, is where the ground cherry is going to form. And this plant is part of the nightshade family, which is similar to tomatoes and peppers. So this is a self-pollinating plant, so you don't have much to worry. It's basically going to do everything on its own. And if I actually spin this around, you can see some different stages of growth. Right up top over here, you see the, what the ground cherries look like when it's nice and small. Then it begins to open up a tiny bit right over here. And then when I lift it up, it starts to fall over like that. And then they blossom and look, I think, very, quite beautiful. Look, here's another one that opened up. And they open up in a matter of basically two to three days from this stage right over here, the little one that's nice and small. In about three days, it's going to open up and look nice and beautiful. So being that this is grown indoors I don't have a fan going on it and blowing this around so just in case I'm gonna give this a little bit of a shake just to make sure the pollen moves around and this thing pollinates itself but most likely you don't even need to do that so as as you see the plants looking nice and healthy being grown in a hydroponic Kratky system which is just a little glass jar with a net cup in it and for the grow media, I used cocoa core, and it works really well, I think. And I like the fact that it dries out after the roots grow a certain length. So let's actually see what the root system looks like. I haven't looked at it in a long time. And wow. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful root system. And I see a tiny bit of cocoa core right there, but that's all right. And I can see that the nutrient levels is just over here, so it's about to run out in about a matter of two, three days. So I'm going to closely monitor that, make sure it doesn't dry out on me, and refill it. I basically use the same mixture that I do for all my grows, all my plants here, which is basically uh, Master Blend, Calcium Nitrate, and Epsom Salt. And I'm going to use the same thing for this grow and keep it going and I, I'm beginning to see right between over here I see little suckers starting to form right between all the nodes and I see a little bigger one over there so most likely I'm gonna try to transplant some of those as, as well and we'll see how that goes we'll, we'll do that together but for now I'm really happy with its growth and soon enough I'm gonna have a ground cherry to try out and I'll show you what that looks like we'll be back in about uh, a week or two and as always, if you liked the episode, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.